Hi, this is David Steinloggy with davestechsupport.com and today I'm going to show you how to install a PlayStation 3 media server on Ubuntu Linux. A uh, media server is essentially a piece of software that will allow you to share videos, music, uh, and other multimedia files with your PlayStation 3 so that they can be played back on your television and served up from your computer. It also has transcoding on the fly, which will basically convert any videos necessary in order to get them to play on the PlayStation. So, for instance, uh, if you have some QuickTime files or some uh, Windows Media video files that are not natively compatible with the PlayStation 3, this will take care of it if you tell it to do so. The first step you need to do in order to get this installed is open up a terminal window. And you can do that by clicking Applications, Accessories, Terminal and uh, then you have to type in this command here now I'm not gonna read this whole thing off but I will annotate it in the video so you should be able to just copy and paste this from uh, either the video itself or the uh, description of the video nearby I'll put this command in um, and then press enter now for me I've already done this and uh, all of these packages are, are already present on my computer so, but for you it'll ask you for your password and then proceed to download these packages and install them uh, once that's complete, you can just click close and then move on to the next step. Next, you want to download the latest version of PlayStation Media Server. To do this, go to this web address. And again, I'm not going to read the whole thing out loud, but it's uh, code.google.com, blah, blah, blah. Once you get there, this list of downloads are available. There's a Windows version, a Mac OS version, and a Linux version. And uh, there are beta copies for each respective uh, platform. I've uh, already tried out this beta for Linux 1.20 and it seems to work just fine for me so you might give it a try. Uh, if it doesn't work or if you run into glitches, download the previous version uh, 1.10. Uh, once you have that downloaded, I've put mine on my desktop and this can be anywhere you'd like. Right click on the file and hit extract here. This will extract the contents of this archive and create a new folder. If we double click on this and open it up, we'll find a file inside of it that says uh, it's called pms.sh. It's an unfortunate abbreviation, but it will just have to do. Right click on this. Actually, you don't have to. Just double click on that. A little pop up may appear that asks, Are you sure, what do you want to do with this? And you'll say run. This will launch the PlayStation 3 media server software. Now, I don't have my PlayStation 3 turned on at the moment, so this screen coming up is basically telling me, uh, me that it's not detecting a connection from a PlayStation 3 out there. So what I'm going to do uh, before I turn it on is check a couple of settings just for uh, later use. Uh, the first thing to check out is the general configuration tab. Um, if you want this to be set up as sort of an automatic running kind of system program, I'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, but you might also want to check this box that says start minimize so it's out of the way instantly when the computer's first turned on. If you do want it to start up right off the bat when you first log into your computer, code to System Preferences Startup Applications, and then click the Add button, and then type anything you want into the name. So I'll just type in PS3 Server, and then click on the Browse button for your command. Go to the location of that folder that you extracted. It could be in your home folder or in your desktop, preferably your home folder, or just someplace out of the way that's going to be permanent. Um, and open that up and then select the pms.sh file that you double clicked on earlier. Hit open. It'll copy the path name in here. You click add. And from now on, it will automatically be run every time the computer is initially turned on. And that's that. Uh, the next thing to check inside of your settings is the uh, navigation share settings. You might want to go down to your shared folder. This is sort of an inventory right here and click on the uh, plus button and I'm going to select uh, just my music folder here. Hit open just to share the music folder for now from this computer to my PlayStation 3. Um, other than that, just click the save button up here for your settings to be uh, stored so that the next time you run the program uh, everything is as it was when you first shut it down. Anyway, I'm going to go turn my PlayStation 3 on. Okay, turning the PlayStation on, and uh, here's the opening screen, of course. I'll log into my account. And if I scroll over to the music category, you'll see that I have a music folder now available 
I have two servers running simultaneously at the moment, but if I go to the one that I just set up, inside is my music folder. Coming back to the computer, we can see now that the uh, status has changed and the program has found our PlayStation 3. And it's uh, pretty much as simple as that. Now, if you don't see this screen, in other words, if your PlayStation is on, but it's failing to connect to it, it's probably because of your firewall settings. Uh, if you have a program like Firestarter configured, uh, or installed rather, uh, you'll want to open this up and check your port policy settings over here. Under the allow services, there are two port numbers you'll want to open up. This is what I had to do in order for things to work smoothly. The first port you need to unblock is port 1900. The other is port 5001. Uh, both of these ports are used to communicate uh, traffic or, or, or the video files and whatnot, negotiate connections basically, between the PlayStation 3 and every computer on the network. Uh, it uses these pr uh, ports to initially probe for systems, or servers rather, and, uh, and then establish a connection. So just make sure that these two ports are unblocked and you should have no problems uh, establishing a connection with the server software. So that is uh, basically it. Uh, good luck, thanks for watching, and uh, have fun watching those movies.